Alright, so this is the second video in my Mysis Shrimp build. Mysis Shrimp culture build. Um, let's... So, the plan for this is I will have three uh, breeding tanks up top. And the way that those tanks are going to work is they will each have the divider which I built in them. And from that divider, it will... On the other side of the divider there is the drain. And that drain is just going to be wide open for it to go down underneath and plumb straight into the young, the culture, the fry rearing tank. And that will also have a siphon, but I'm going to be putting a very fine mesh that I will attach to that that can be removed regularly for cleaning. Um, water flow is pretty high right now, but that's because I have a pump that's designed for splitting three ways. And just going one. Um, so that plumbs down to my sump where I have a large bio block and my heater and I don't know what other equipment I will use in the future but this is all I'm going to have to start. So I am currently plumbing the second tank in. And that's where I'm going to start. Um, with the build. The mice of shrimp I ordered today. Hopefully they ship out tomorrow. And I will split them 50-50 between these two tanks. Now, once when the fry have gone down to these lower tanks, the plan is to set up these three 10 gallons to rear them in. So after every three or four days, I will pick them up and move them. Currently, um, in the two leftmost tanks, I have Ope Ula which are a small Hawaiian shrimp. I'm going to be taking those and put those in three five and a half gallons up top. And then I'll have three, and these will just, these three 10 gallons will just have like a sponge filter system. Um, and I'll probably have like three days worth of fry in each one. And those will be my grow out tanks. I eventually want to get a third 20 gallon top and bottom be able to maximize my amount of fry per day and so I'm going to just go ahead and um, put this together and then show you what I did so I already put the drink stand pipe in the lower tank I'm now going to plumb from the upper tank to the lower tank, and then I'll put a standpipe in the upper tank. So I'm just gonna time lapse this because no one wants me to do this in real time. All right, I got that all plumbed in. Um, the glue's just drying now. So I got all the underside plumbed in. I'm just using that pitcher to hold it up so it's not torqued too much. So the last thing I got to do is build this little contraption. So I want the water flow to go against the mesh. That way when uh, the fry are born, they will be pushed, they will be preferentially moved towards the mesh so they can escape the carnivorous adults. So I'm just going to plumb out, down, and over on that, and that's a pretty simple job. And then those four tanks will all be set up and plumbed and ready to go. Um, I'll probably fill it up tomorrow. I gotta mix some more salt water, and I will then work on moving the Ope Ula to their five and a half gallon tanks so that the three tens can be ready for when the when I get some fry and I will post a third video in my mysis strip culturing um, segments once when the mysis arrive show you them and we'll talk about them a little bit and I'll put them in and kind of see how this whole thing works Thanks for watching.